So the first thing you want to do is grab your image and drag it into the white area here. Then click on Image, Mode, RGB Color. Then double click this area that says Background, and then when it pops up with Layer, click OK. Right click here, and then click Duplicate Layer. You can also zoom in and zoom out based on exactly what you have to color. Here on the left is your paintbrush, click on that. And then if you go down at the very bottom, you have this paintbrush here, which is actually a color replacement tool. You could change the size of the brush. You could also change the color that you're painting with over here. Once you color what you need, you can then zoom in and get those finer details. If the colors are too intense, you could also lower the opacity to give it a more realistic effect. You could also click on this quick select tool and then click on whatever you want to segment and it'll automatically segment that area for you. So you could just take your paintbrush and paint right over it. You could also change the tolerance for this selection tool. So increasing the tolerance will make it select very easily and then decreasing the tolerance will make it more difficult to select an area. Let's say you wanted to paint over this entire area or you just hold the mouse down, sort of scroll through that area, that segment, and then you could come in with your paintbrush and paint whatever you need. And then if you want to deselect what you have selected already, you click on select and right under it, it pops up with deselect and then go ahead and click on that. To export the image, just click on file, save as, and then save it as a JPEG. You could also save it as a Photoshop file if you wanted to come back and make corrections later.